have you seen the same quality problems repeating again and again in many organizations in one of our clients place uh, when we visited first right we took the data for the last you know uh, two years of quality data and for the last two years they had the same problems again and again right? every month the percentage will vary here and there but the top three defects will be the same we asked a very simple question why the same problems are repeating again and again and uh, they said no we are taking actions but it is not you know being sustained they are preparing a corrective and preventive action uh, sheet and all that but then uh, defects are still there it is not reducing today in this particular video we are going to understand why companies are finding it very difficult to conduct a root cause analysis and then take action come let's get started hi there my name is anand your lean manufacturing consultant the defect is a symptom or it's a result of some uh, deep underlying issue and if you are taking action for the defect we are only trying to solve the symptom we are not taking action on the root cause that is a important issue right most of the actions which people take are all superficial so if you look at their kappa uh, that is the corrective and preventive action sheet most of the time they will say we are we have provided training to the operators that's what they will they will write the uh, corrective and preventive action sheet but they don't go to the next level why the problem is repeating again and again so this is an issue i'm showing a picture here right it's like a tree and uh, there are leaves and branches these branches and leaves are like let us say defects okay this you can see from your naked eye and if you want to uh, stop the tree from growing or if you want to kill this particular tree you want to you no know, uh, chop it down right one way is to chop the trunk that is the top the portion which is above the ground but what will happen in most cases is even if you chop the tree the tree will again start you know uh, growing because the roots are below the soil the roots which are present below the soil they will still work and again the tree will start growing right these causes are not visible to the naked eye and if you want to completely kill this particular you know tree what you need to do you need to damage or you want to kill the roots also you want to go deeper into the problem and try to solve it and in lean we talk about five why analysis you no know, understanding the first why then asking question again going to the next why and then to the next why like this if we go to the fifth why the research shows that most of the times the fifth why is the real reason for the particular defect and we have to solve the fifth why to solve that particular defect or to avoid that particular defect and uh, in many companies people stop at the first or the second why they don't go to the fifth why uh that's the reason why the same problems come again and again there are a lot of quality tools quality problem solving methodologies which are available in the internet but still people don't follow them that is what we are going to you know learn today why companies are finding it very difficult to make people follow the quality you know problem solving methods reason number 1 is the people are not trained properly and uh, these companies also don't have a proper training uh, systems Uh, many medium size and small scale companies in india they don't have a proper uh, training or learning and development uh, teams who who can guide the uh, uh, shop floor people for this quality training methods so there is no training coordinator lnd uh, learning and development team etc so people have to de- develop or they have to learn on their own which most people they don't do so uh, when when a person joins a company they will be immediately assigned to a particular department or a, under a particular person and they will ask them to start you know Uh, on the job uh, work they don't give a proper training this is what is happening in many indian companies so this is one of the major reasons why people are not able to solve the quality issues the reason number 2 is uh, most of the times with quality team and production team they they are always busy because uh, they don't plan their activity properly they are unorganized so there is a, a very big lack of focus and because of this lack of planning Uh, they are always fire fighting there will be a lot of surprises in the shop floor you know suddenly something is missing some quality problem and some material is not there they will be always running around here and there so when the defect comes they only identify the defects and they take some immediate containment action temporary solutions and their actions are all superficial like what i said if there is an issue they will prepare a corrective and preventive action sheet that you know we will give training to the operators and uh, they have so many uh, kappa sheets you know uh, action sheets where they just mention the same thing we will give training we will give training to the operator training to the operator and uh, and every day the same problem again and again it's repeated there is a clear lack of focus or uh, they are unable to plan their activity properly again this is due to 
lack of training and the third reason is lack of manpower in quality department sometimes in organization to reduce the manpower to cut cost they will reduce the number of quality people to patrol inspection as a lean practitioner we always think that you know quality team and production team to should work together to solve the problems if there is less manpower it's very difficult to you know manage and they focus on day to day you know collecting data and presenting the data rather than you know focusing on solving the issues so this can be reason number 3 and reason number four is office politics or blaming culture. You know, why should I do this? Why should I go and implement? If I give some ideas, if I start implementing, people start giving me more and more work. You know, they, it becomes my problem rather than the department problem. They start blaming me. So I will be given more work in the future. Right? So that can be an issue. That can be a reason why people are not you know, focusing on improvement activities. Why should I do it like that? And reason number five is the senior management do not drive the, this kind of you know initiative they don't ask questions to the junior management like this why you no know, the problem is not solved in every company the senior management are the ones who are creating the culture of the company and when they ask the right questions the next level people also will start you know, working in the same direction so it is very important for the senior management to start asking the right questions to their team members especially in this corrective and preventive action areas root cause analysis what gets measured gets improved said by uh, Mr. Peter Drucker, one of the finest management gurus of our times. So senior management's job is to ask the right questions. That is very important. And before we go to the sixth reason, you can consider you know, subscribing to our newsletter where we share a lot of interesting tips related to lean manufacturing and organizational improvement. You know, we, we send it every week. So you can consider subscribing for that. And if you are from a typical medium or a small scale company in India and you don't have a proper training systems in your company, you can consider joining our manufacturing leadership program where we have about 17 different topics which are completely necessary for a shop floor engineer to learn right? uh, starting from production quality maintenance purchase six sigma lean uh, telephone etiquettes soft skills email etiquettes etc so it's a complete package for training the shop floor people especially the engineers and you know uh, quality team and they can improve your shop floor and they can become the next set of leaders who can you know, manage your shop floor in a productive and effective way. So this particular program, I am going to give the link in the description. You can consider subscribing for that also. Let us go back to this reason number six, the lack of proper performance measurement system. Many companies, again in uh, medium size companies, they don't have a proper uh, performance measuring, measurement system. Most of the times they do once a year for their increments and promotion. And the, the people think, why, why should I go and you know spend time on improve? I will just continue with the status quo. So people don't know whether they are meeting the expectation of the management. So these are the six reasons why people uh, do not take root cause analysis and they don't focus on corrective actions. And if you like this particular video, subscribe to our channel and you can also click the bell icon so that whenever we post a new video, you can get a notification. And you can also share it with your colleagues and the team members so that they can focus on root cause analysis. And if you want to learn more about 7QC tools, I am going to give that uh, particular link at the end. You can also watch that particular video and get you know, uh, more learning. So thank you very much for watching. I will talk to you in the next video. See you. Bye.